let me show you how to add bold, underlined, or even italic text to your Power BI report using just a little bit of HTML. In this sample report, I only have one table, which contains one column with one row and just a lot of text. And exactly this text I will be formatting differently using HTML. So back in the report view, I'm going to create a measure. Let's call it dynamic text. And basically what I want to return is just for now, uh, a text which is not formatted at all. So I'm just going to return the text from the table. Then I add the visual and I didn't mean to add the text, this text, but I want to add the measure into the HTML text placeholder. And now I have a text which is not formatted at all. But now I can just add a little bit of HTML to this code and format the text. So let's first make it bold. Bold uh, is the HTML tag B for bold. So I put this into double quotes in the beginning and in the end. And whenever I switch over from HTML to DAX or the other way around, I add an end percent in between. So now I have a bold text. Technically, I should also close the bold um, HTML tag in the end. But as you can see, even if I don't do this, it still works. But let me just show you anyway, this is what we should do whenever we start an HTML tag. We should also, this is just best practice, we should also close it in the end. But you will see that this doesn't make a difference at all in this case. So let me just leave it away. So B for bold. What about underline? Probably U, U for underline. What about italic? I. Uh, what about, what else do we have? Strike through is S. And that's it. That's the, as simple as it is. This is how we format text. So let's um, try to do something else. So let's have this italic. And maybe what I want to add is actually a title. Maybe I want to add um, a bold and underlined title. So again, I want to start with the bold tag and also underlined. And then my title is just title. And now let's see what happens. I have the title and then I have no gap. I just have the text after that because there's no line break. So the line break I do in my DAX formula editor is not HTML. So I actually need to add a manual line break. So the BR tag make sure that I now jump to a new line. Let me just turn off the tool tip. But still, this is not really what I wanted because now everything is bold and underlined. And in this specific case, I really need to close the bold and underlined tag because that defines where I want to stop the text being bold and underlined. And now I have exactly what I want. I have the title bold and underlined. And then below I have the text coming from the data model, which is just italic. And of course, using this technique, you can make all kinds of text com combinations and format it differently. You could also format a measure or a text or a, or, or a value or a number depending on the value. So you could say uh, negative values we format bold because it's important, you know, something is not good, somebody needs to focus on that. Or also you want to maybe format values depending on colors. But there is actually a different knowledge base article where we cover exactly this, how to color elements depending on some values coming from a DAX measure. So please go check out also that video. Um, I'm going to leave a, a link to that in, in the comment section. Um,
please leave a comment if that works for you also leave a comment if you have some questions and as always to get you started I highly recommend that you go to the website and download the sample report because the sample report has lots of elements that were all created with HTML and CSS um, and hopefully that will inspire you and that's just the easiest way to get started simply navigate to an element you like copy paste the code into your report and simply replace the few elements that you need to replace so it also works for you thank you very much for using our visuals we hope that you enjoy working with them thanks for watching and see you in the next video cheers